And I say unto you that many shall come from east and west and shall sit down with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness where there's weeping and gnashing of teeth. If we look at Matthew 25, all three parables, we see that those who have the door shut on them, as well as Matthew 7 and elsewhere, this is a picture of those who are not ushered in to the kingdom of heaven and, the, and is those who will not receive eternal life because they're directly correlated. Now, if you think saved people can't walk away from the faith, tell me, how are the sons of the kingdom who are the elect, at least in the Old Covenant, they're the elect. And if we're to transfer the election, the chosen, in, con in concept to the New Testament, that's a problem. No, the elect are those in Christ, in covenant relationship with God. Therefore, the many, many warnings in Scripture are clear. You must remain. You must keep in memory. You must not turn back like the wife of Lot. And anyone who tells you otherwise is a false teacher because the facts on the ground are if you turn back in unbelief, all unbelievers will suffer the lake of fire. Now, there's different ways to understand unbelief. I'm not arguing for any particular view. I'm merely saying that if you escaped the pollutions of the world and then turn your back, if you've tasted of the heavenly gift and of the world to come, and reject it, if anyone has lost opportunity for eternal life, it is that person. So examine yourself and see if you're in the faith.